Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 20 of John chapter 12. Now there were some Greeks among those who were going up to worship at the feast. These people then came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida of Galilee, and were making a request of him, saying, Sir, we wish to see Jesus. Philip came and told Andrew. Then Andrew and Philip came and told Jesus. But Jesus answered them by saying, The hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Truly, truly I say to you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. The one who loves his life loses it, and the one who hates his life in this world will keep it to eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honor him." Those of us who are followers of Jesus Christ are to carry out His work, and we're to be living extensions of His life as we do so. Following His example, believers must live as God's servants. We need to release control over our time, talent, and treasure, and accept our commission to work in His kingdom. Like our Savior, we're not to act independently. Our assignment is to do whatever God asks of us. Believers also need to answer His call to aid others. We tend to limit our circle to people like ourselves, but we must fight against this inclination. We should be willing to respond to the needs of strangers and friends alike, and the Lord can help us recognize those opportunities. And believers need to motivate one another to good deeds. We're to spur each other toward godliness and service rather than worldly pleasure and self-centeredness. Believers should foster in each other gratefulness for what God has done and confidence about what He will do. Good works don't earn salvation, but they do affect eternal rewards. Believers' deeds will one day be evaluated. Works done without direction from God will be burned up, while those accomplished in obedience to the Holy Spirit will be remembered and acknowledged. Let your love for God stimulate you to labor with His strength in His kingdom.